Doing my best here. I'll hit me with a raw XD. Do it. Thank you. And do that again. Okay. Buffalo it wasn't all that when it first happened. But when you do it again. Come on, fuck boy. Oh. Okay, that worked. Take a third half, buddy. Yeah. So, about your plan to become God the other world. How's that going for you? Again, buddy. Ow, shit. You might be mad. Alright, that should be good enough. I'll take him down real quick. Come on, please. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is a son of a bitch. Get out of the way, buddy. Silence. Tone, awaken. The time has come to glow silver. Grant me the power of the heavens. What the? Yes, please kill, please, please, please just kill him. Is he dead? Please. I don't understand. Why will Katune awaken? Why Katune, why? Kill him, please. Please kill him. Order right there, vile serpent. Oh, is that who I think it is? Behold, Nagi, the greatest warrior who ever lived. And from this day forth, guardian deity of Kamaki Village. Hear me, vile serpent, who would be, who would divine upon the weak. Your time is up. Feel the wrath of my trusty sword. Okay. I'm sure you. I don't know why you are here, but Rochi is mine. I shall slay the beast. <laughs> then do it, you bitch. The time has come. Oh, great gods of the heavens, sweep away these dark clouds. Bear witness as the beast succumbs to my trusty sword. Oh, Kinijin. Wait, this all sounds familiar. Oh yeah, the Legend of Nagi. 
The sword gave power over evil when the moon shined upon it. Easy to say. Should be a full moon. We're not gonna question that. We're not gonna question it. Don't think about it. Just don't question it. What do you like doing, Kingman? His sword. It's. What devilry is this? My sword is suddenly blazed gold. Must be the heavens which aid me. I shall wield this divine gift with all my might. Nagi style blade of truth. Good! I'll be able to shit again. Okay. Oh. Don't get fucked. Is that the best you can do? I'll show you how a real man fights. Good. I'll get the head, I guess. Will. Where the fuck? Okay. Never. Give. In to evil, evil. Now for the ultimate Nami style martial arts. So we got Joe Cleaver. Oh, oh. Oh! Oh. Totally unique animation right there. Never seen it before. What the fuck is that? Obtain Thunder Edge. A weapon I'm not gonna use because I was told that the rosaries are OP. The moment the legend of Nagu was fulfilled, it was the most beautiful sight one could imagine. But was it really? Paved in moonlight, Nagi's sword twinkled, reflecting golden light. As the Roshi's body cleaved, the beast was sealed for a hundred years. He said it was dubbed Tsukiyomi, and enshrined in the moon cave. Little Lika, the only girl who had been tainted by Roshi's dark power, had her curse lifted and returned to normal. However, one man, Oki, did not show such signs of recovery. Oki's power had interfered with his most desperate attack. <laughs> Despite the grave danger, Katona did not exhibit the silver glow. Oki's heart, burdened at the sight of what Nagi's sword had wrought, <laughs> thoroughly humiliated and boiling with rage, he soaked away, or he stalked away into the darkness, making sure that no one laid eyes upon him. Fucking bitch. Go be a pussy elsewhere. Multiple heads. Just been laughing. I have slain the beast. I, Doggy, have defeated the dread, the dreaded Orochi. We know, we know. Now will you stop re repeating yourself? Come in your bravery, sure, Nui. It was I who failed the foul beast. Ha 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 ha. Eh, uh, whatever, Furball here did all the work. Anyway. 
Where did Oki go? He left without a word. Oh, uh, please we survived, Rika. Oh, vibrations. What the fuck a dish? Got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> What's that Orochi up to now? I thought he was dead. Hey Pops, better get over here, quick! Oh! 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 Fuck! Pops! Yeah, he did it. He's fucking dead. He dead. Straight dead. Oh! Is he ascending? Oh no. Sure, Nui. Oh, me. That's not me. Is that me at like peak? You saved my life. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. About far from over. I'll get out of here while you still can have the chance. Is that an old man Ishaku? Oh, he carried her to safety. I know that's kind of weird, but we got a GTFO, buddy. Uh, you gonna see anything, little girl? Sitting there for quite a while, being really quiet, it's kind of creepy. That was Shiranui. In other words, that was you 100 years ago. That was how you met your end after you ventured with Gramps. Bow to soothe the dread Orochi, only to die yourself. Isu, is that you? Hmm? Lika, it's been ages. Too bad we had to meet like this. What made you go through the Spirit Gate anyway? Spirit Gate? What's that? All I remember is two owls appearing in a dream. They invited me to come play with them in the forest. Next thing I knew, I woke up there. Thank goodness you and your doggy came to save me. You had a dream about two owls. Aren't the guardian gods of Kamui owls? Why would the owls lead you here? Because they're dicks. <laughs> oh. Look, Ami. The sun. Starting to wane. The day of darkness is about to begin. This day long solar eclipse only happens once every hundred years. Of course it does. Day of darkness, what's that? Looks like something's taking a big bite of the sun. Ami, you're the sun god. What's gonna happen to you if the sun disappears? Sun god, what's that? You kill yeah. Nico, you can recite the volcanic incantation, can't you? It's supposed to make the frozen mountain either Fuji or up, right? Well, you better do it, because Alkami's going to freeze if you don't. Oh my god. You mean a prayer we offer to the mountain by the lake? Yeah, I can make the prayer of the old man Kimo perfectly. He even told me that I do it really well. I know, I know. That's why we need your help back in the village. Let's go, Ami, back to Wapkir as best we can. I feel like I'm speaking fucking Wookie. Oh, so now the fourth is safe, huh? What are you doing, Ami? Go back to whip here before we all freeze to death. The leaves are gonna freeze too if we don't hurry. 
That's okay. I wasn't. I didn't, I didn't stop. The game made me stop. Come on. You gotta hurry. Oh, that bullshit maze part. Come on, Ami, Mike, hit mock speed. We need to hurry up. <laughs> it's like two o'clock in the morning right now. That's one nasty blizzard. It's blowing in from the rear of the village. Anyway, we gotta get to the altar. We're almost to the edge of the oh, yeah. We're almost to the edge of the Loki Lake. I got a fucking word. It's so hard sometimes. Okay, come on. We have to speed. Go chase. Rapido. Ariba, Ariba. A little faster, please. See everybody bailed. It's always nice to see. Everybody's a shop with the shopkeeper. That man's loyal to his job. Sheesh, what's up with this nasty blizzard? I mean, where the heck did this thing come from? I'm assuming it's coming from the demons that we were told about. He soon. Are you not here for that conversation? I'm pretty sure you were. Oh! Huh? Sorry, everyone will be gathering around the altar. But nobody's here, not even old man Kimu or Samako. Can't make Luka pray here all alone in this weather. Doggone it, where the heck did everybody go? The Fujin and Yamato, they're both keeps in history. Turned on my spine, just looking at him. Blah de blah de blah de blah. All right, let me go to the, to the uh, check up here. Better be straightforward, can it? It's only gonna be something. You can never just be straightforward. It's always gonna be a hop, skip, and a jump, doesn't there? What's everyone doing here? Yeah, I brought a leak to everyone. So what's up with this nasty blizzard? It's, it's a day of darkness. No fucking shit. Day comes once every hundred years, now it's sub again. That's why the monsters are making the wood even fiercer. And Oki, how could it be so irresponsible at a time like this? He destroyed the gate here on his way to walk oh, that fucking cunt. <laughs> Tried to stop him, but he was waving the Katona horn about. If he was to sweep the gate before I could even do this. Now Kami could freeze over whether the eclipse comes or not. He suddenly disappeared after we defeated Rope. And he thought he'd come here and do something like this. But he just wants to steal all the glory for himself. No! Oh, he's not like that. I understand why he took the Divine Kutoni Sword. He was trying to do what was right for the village. He's a salty little bitch, that's why. The two demons got violent at the shrine of Izafuji. It was Oki who came to Kimu's rescue. Huh? I thought Samako was the one who saved old man Kimu. Oki acted as bait so that Kimu and Samako could escape. They surveyed, or they survived because Oki acted as a shield and fought for them. Oki's the strongest among us, but even so, he was no match for them. He was only to come home alive. Well, there's quite the feast surviving a battle against two demons. 
But he was angry that he couldn't defeat the demons. So he took the sword.